guys, Ying with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green, the Egg Lock Run. In the last episode, we went and took on Articuno, then we went to the Viridian City Gym, where finally one of our long-time pals died, thanks to a Rhyhorn and their stupid Oko moves. And continuing on with that string of bad luck, I have good news and bad news for you guys. The good news is that I have a pretty awesome team. So that's amazing. We'll get to that in a second. The bad news is I Okay, technically I recorded the grinding. But about three minutes into it, I had paused to check a Skype message and I forgot to click resume. So Yeah, it's about the first three minutes of the grinding I still I still have. So if you guys are interested in seeing like Totodile will go up about two levels, then, yeah. The good news is, I did record, uh, actually more good news, is I did record the commentary for that. I, before I started grinding, I'm like, I want to go to storytelling, so, and since I do those videos in post-com, I recorded the videos, and I, I recorded the commentary, and I told the stories, so, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that now. I could just randomly upload it on its own, or just save it for the next grinding, or delete it into the obscurities of poke hell who knows but yeah so that's what happened with that anyways let's take a look at our team we have Toto the for alligator who nice decent stats a lot of people are saying it like bashing to uh, crop for alligator for some reason I'm like well those aren't horrible stats you know yeah I'm, I'm happy and he is slash surf ice beam and bite so I'm liking him. I wasn't really sure what levels I should go to because Giovanni's highest Pokemon is level 50 Rhyhorn. And I could guarantee Surf is going to just destroy that thing. It's really pathetic that he doesn't have a Rhydon. I don't know why, but whatever. We have Sipper, who I don't think Sipper learned anything. But hey, look at that attack stat. So pretty. We have Jimmy, who... Yeah, see, uh, Jimmy's stats aren't that much higher than for alligators, And J I know Jimmy's a freaking beast, so... I don't get why everyone is hating on him, and his move says the same. Moon, we're in Mega Horn, and I wasn't gonna take Mega Horn, but I realized, you know, every literally anything is better than Peck. So, and uh, his stats are pretty, you know, I don't know anything about stats. I don't know what's good or bad, so I'm just like looking at the numbers, like, yeah, yep, yeah, those are those are cool, those are cool. We have Nikestro, who, you know, he's got them stats as well. I don't. Moving on. And uh, he learned takedown, so I got rid of agility. I don't know if I'll ever use takedown. Probably not. I, if anything, I'd probably give him like hyper beam. I don't know. And then finally, the guy I completely forgot about. I didn't forget about him. I forgot what level he evolves. So we now have a Metagross, level 45. I actually thought he learned something at 45, but turns out he doesn't. So, which is why I. St I otherwise, I would have like kept him a Metang because I'm like, oh god, I don't want to evolve him during grinding because that's no fun. But I realized, well, he probably learned something when he evolves, because, I mean, he, like, gains two hands. So maybe he, like, gains d double hands, fist, slap, punch thing. But, yeah, it turns out, no, he doesn't learn anything. So thanks for wasting my time, buddy. Anyways, that is our Pokemon. We should probably heal up. I don't know if I'm underleveled. I, I really, I have no clue if this would be, like, considered underleveled or perfect leveling for this gym. I am still very scared, because... I, I just I think for alligator could potentially just sweep him but um, I don't know I don't want to just use one Pokemon the entire time I kind of want to use Metagross against the Nidoking's Kings and Nidoqueens, Queens just just to see what it does but I know they both have earthquake so if they're faster than me which I really have no clue if they would be or not I don't know anything about I don't know anything about stats of Pokemon if I have not made that clear before I don't know what's fast, I don't know what's slow, I don't know what's a powerhouse, I don't know what has like mixed stats, I don't know that stuff, so. <laughs> Probably not surprisingly I don't know that stuff for the record, but still, I don't know any of that stuff. But either way, he has two Rhyhorns, instead of, e why does he not have a Rhydon in Pokemon Yellow? He has a Rhydon. In this game they're like, oh let's give him a Rhyhorn. <laughs> yeah, because that makes perfect freaking sense Nintendo. Anyways, just battle me, I'm going to kill you now, okay. Thank you. So. Depending on how this battle goes, we'll probably also be taking on Rufus as well, because that'll be our last rival battle before the Elite Four. So pretty. Actually, I don't even. I'm, I don't think we can take on the Elite Four. Look at that. Wait, wait, wait. I kept thinking it's not grinding. Look at that for alligator booty. Look at that booty. I think that's his butt. I, I don't. I don't know what part of 
his body that is, but it looks like it's Bude, and it, it's just so nice. And, oh yeah, okay, yeah, that wasn't even a challenge. So, Toto might just freaking sweep this guy at this point. I would not be surprised at all. Duck Trio actually kind of scares me. I want to, I could probably, Duck Trios are not very bulky, so I could probably get off with an, oh, that's, okay, I take it back, that's kind of scary, because Duck Trios are kind of flash, never mind. Duck Trios, in the sense, are kind of flash cannons because they have horrible defenses, they die very easily, but they can hit really hard, so, yeah. Uh, you gotta be really, really, really careful when using these guys. And I forgot I have it on, I don't, I have it on set, because I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna switch into Metagross on the Nidal Queen and Nidal King, and that, yeah, never mind, I can't do that, so. Looks like we're just gonna have to try to sweep with Toto, because I don't want to switch in because I have a feeling he's probably just going to use Earthquake if he lives and yeah Earthquake so if I would have switched into Metagross there I don't know if Metagross would die but it sure as heck wouldn't it be pretty so he's going to heal up that's actually probably means it's a good time for me to heal up as well so got plenty of hyper potions I don't want to lose Toto yeah dang I was actually thinking I probably could have also trained Redwood um I was like just thinking oh I need a water type it never occurred to me that I could also use a grass type to take on Giovanni. So, but I think a water type benefits me more than a grass type does. So, I don't know. I'm sure Redwood might be trained. Like, if for something horrible happens and uh, Toto dies here, wow! Did you seriously use two hyper potions on this freaking Nido Queen? Really? Anyways, if something horrible happens to Toto here and he dies, then Redwood is definitely a very viable option because I would not turn down a Sceptile. I think that would go very well. So. Uh, that is, I think, three down, two to go, or does he have three Pokemon? I don't remember if Giovanni has five or six Pokemon. He has five, okay, so he's got his Nidoking King and his stupid freaking Rhyhorn. Why is it a Rhyhorn Pokemon? Answer me. So since Nidoking King has worse defense stats than Nidoking Queen, I think this might Oko? Wow, really, it didn't, even after they level up. Nidoking King does have higher attack stats, so now I'm kind of nervous. And, okay, yep, yeah, no, we got this. Ice Beam to the face. I'm going to call it now, we're going to one shot Rhyhorn, and uh, I just kind of realized, is Feraligator's face like smushed in? Like it looks very like squashed down, like it shouldn't be that flattened. I don't know what's going on there, but I don't like it. So I'm going to take a risk and assume we're faster. We are faster. I can guarantee this surf is going to kill this thing, it's just too easy to predict. Yep, okay. And we just swept Giovanni with the Feraligator awesome people were bashing for alligator in the comments saying that like he doesn't become good until after the physical special split yeah well guess what my t my friend alligator just swept giovanni so he's amazing i love my for alligator he's my best friend awesome okay so now we have beaten giovanni we got earthquake oh my god finally i'm i'm not even gonna hesitate we are i've been waiting so 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 freaking long to give earthquake to moon seriously he's been just sitting here patiently using dig no more shall you dig my friend you will shake the ground like a man and now watch uh, he's gonna die in the next battle so that's gonna suck but anyways i think it's time we go take on rufus now so we're gonna have two rather, well i don't know if giovanni would be called difficult if you don't have a water or a grass type he very well could be difficult but yeah, he, he wasn't difficult this time around. He didn't even... he Well, he came somewhat close to killing Toto. If if I, if I that Rhyhorn like, would have lived the Surf, then there's a good chance Toto would have died. But whatever. I don't... I somewhat remember Rufus's team. I know he's going to start off with a Pidgeot. So I'm going to lead off with the Kestro, who will hopefully rock slide this thing. And I am not nearly as confident about Rufus. Because Rufus is a very diverse team, and he can mess me up. And I need to make sure Nikesta stays alive, because Nikestro is pretty much my only chance against Charizard. So, I am really, really freaking nervous about this. Come on, come on Rufus, let's do this, let's battle. We, you got your Pidgeot. Good thing is Pidgeot cannot touch uh, Nikestro. Actually, does Pidgeot have Steel Wing? I am actually nervous now if Pidgeot might have Steel Wing. So let's hope maybe we can one-shot it. Oh no, it lived. Oh, it has Feather Dance. Okay, whatever. I just realized, oh my god, I'm going to have to be switching in and forcing myself to take an attack. Oh, god, no, no. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay. Um, 
I think he's probably gonna go for a water type move. He probably has like hydro pump, so I doubt he has anything that can hit Wolken. So let's Oh wait, no. Steel doesn't resist water. Water resists steel. I just realized that. But you know, Gyarados is like the worst special attack in the game, so <laughs> um let's go Psychic should Wow, okay, just hit it twice. That's cool. But Psychic should be able to do a nice chunk to this thing, hopefully. And oh, I forgot. Gyaradoses are actually really specially bulky. I always forget that. They have actually like a decent amount of special bulk. So, no. Oh, 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 oh. If I lose a Metagross to a Gyarados that doesn't even have Earthquake, I'm going to be so sad. All right, let's go for Shadow Ball instead because that is physical. And it'll definitely do a bigger chunk to... Gyarados come on kill it maybe kill it maybe maybe wow I am really freaking nervous right now twister okay I did it already use up all five of its hydro pumps I think that's only been yeah okay because it hit us twice four times normal got a crit all right so it's out of hydro pumps so all I only think it could do now is um Weir twister and rain dance so yeah Gyarados that's like really the only thing it could do to you is Hydro pump you. If you survive five turns, Gyarados becomes a waste of. Oh, you suck. Oh, actually, this is good because the fire, the rain is up. Wow, dude, you just screwed yourself over. You set up rain and then send out a Charizard. Why? We resist it plus the rain. I'm just gonna laugh at you. Rock slide. Charizard's dead. Okay. Wow, Rufus, you are not that smart. And to think you're about to become Pokemon League champion. I think that really says something about the Elite Four. That's really kind of disappointing, isn't it? Rhyhorn. Um, okay, I'm not scared of you because I can switch into Toto and with the rain still up, it's just going to be overkill because we already know I can kill level 50. No! 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 I knew that was going to happen. I'm sitting here thinking in my mind, oh, he's going to horn trip me. No! <laughs> what the heck? Ah! The cruel and unusual punishment. Ah, okay, you can't horn drill me because I'm a higher level than you. And I can earthquake you. And, ah, Toto. I spent so long training that guy. That's, when I clicked on Toto and I saw he was level 43, I'm like, oh my god. Horn drill is going to wreck me. And it did. Ah. I hate this set battle style so much. It is so cruel to me. Combine all you want, Shadow Ball's physical, and Metagross is about to punch you in the face. So I hope you're happy. Well, for the record, Shadow Ball being physical makes no sense at all. I just want to point that out. It just defies poke logic. But whatever, I think all he has left is his Execute. Which for some reason is not an Executor yet. It should be. It does become an executor by the time we, he becomes Pokemon League Champion. So obviously he has the Leaf Stone. I don't know why he just doesn't use it. I also don't know why he doesn't have a Rhydon. I don't know. I'm trying to not question Pokemon logic. But it's seriously just like messing with my brain. So thank you for freaking killing my for Alligator. I was so proud of that guy. I was building him up so much. I'm like wow you all you people shouldn't freaking hit on him. Okay, so my last two deaths have come from Rhyhorn using Horn Drill. Oh, that makes me so sad. This is so wrong in so many ways. Okay. For Alligator, thank you for all your help. I I love you. You were a great Pokemon. Okay, who's going to be dragged out from the dead box next? Most likely to be murdered. By the way, apparently Seal is actually supposed to be level 30, and I've just been too lazy to rare candy him. At least I had a comment saying that, so... I very well might take Seal, because uh, Dugong, I believe, is a relatively bulky Pokemon, so, but I might take Bako. Do I, would a Dragon-type fit on my team? I don't know, I could really, I think I, I don't think I need a Water-type to get through Victory Road, and I'm still debating on giving Moon Surf just for coverage, but, um... Although, actually, I don't know what 
coverage that would give him because water is super efficient against fire, rock, and ground, and I already moves. I already, actually, I don't think I have anything that's super effective against ground, but I shouldn't be facing ground types anyways, so. Oh, God, who do I bring? I don't need another ground type. I don't, it's, it's kind of between Redwood and Oscar. So, and, and Bako to a certain extent, but I, I don't, I don't know what I want to do with Bako. I, he won't be good until he gets to level 55 is the problem. And although I will be at that level by the, t by the time I take on Elite Four, because when I take him on, it'll technically be the second round in Elite Four. Um, gosh, darn it. I don't know what to pick, who to pick. I'm not taking many, like my millions, Kualavas, Heracrosses, and Growlis. So they're, they're not being taken. I, I kind of want to take Ron just for nostalgia, but he doesn't add anything to the team at all. So I think I'm going to go with, um, I think who would benefit the team more grass types. Okay. Grass types would be strong against rock, ground, water, and I think that's it. But it would add a weakness to poison. It would add a weakness to fire and it would add a weakness to bug which I don't actually have like a weaknesses to a lot of those things in the moment. So I think, you know, we've had a bunch of water types. It's, we're taking Redwood. Yeah. Okay. That's decided. Where's the EXP share? It's time to start training up this bad boy. If he dies, we will bring Oscar. I'm just going to say that now. So Redwood, if you die, Oscar's going to replace you and then we're going to have a dugong. And yeah, so... I guess actually um, I'm kind of curious if we can go to Oak and get the or how, how many Pokemon do we have we have 56 okay we need four more to get the national Pokedex so um, ideas ideas where can we get four Pokemon maybe apparently I actually missed out on catching a Pokemon in the Seafoam Islands which made me feel really retarded so it has to be Kanto Pokemon um, which none of you are well, you are, but <laughs> you're, you don't evolve, so we could, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to do, I guess we'll just, yeah, we'll worry about that later, anyways, on to Victory Road, we will catch Pokemon, then we'll probably call it a day, we'll probably make Victory Road its own special thing, and yeah, let's just hop off the freaking ledge, Hardy, good job, ah, ledges are for wimps. Oh my god, it's a level 5 Rattata. I gotta run away. I can't handle that. That is the top percentage. That is like, I could see Youngster Joey in his eyes. Just getting ready to kill me. And that sends shivers, shivers down my spine. And I just realized I need Surf to get to Victory Road. So... Am I going to give Surf to Nido King? Or do I need to bring Oscar? I don't know. I don't freaking know what to do. It's just hurting my brain. I, I, Surf is going to be taught to somebody right now. That's happening. But who is the question? It could be taught. You're the only one. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do it. Let's see. Mega Kick. I like actually never use that. And the horrible accuracy. Yeah. You know. Okay. We're getting rid of Mega Kick. That doesn't add any coverage at all. It's just kind of like a neutral move and we don't need it. Surf will be much better to have. So yeah, I, I don't regret this. I made a good decision. I'm happy. Oh, actually, uh, I think this is Route 23, so I can catch this Slowpoke, which is level 20. So I will. Actually, I think even Bite would kill that. So let's go into Redwood. I'm sorry if I. Yeah, I'm like 90% sure I could catch this Slowpoke. So that's awesome. Oh, I just remembered that Redwood has Dragon Breath, and that'll be useful. So I think I made a good decision here with Redwood, although we will be able to go hatch new Pokemon using this Slowpoke. So let's ca throw a great ball. Hopefully we can catch this thing in like one easy try. And we did. Awesome face. Happy sauce. We got a slow boat. And it's now in box one. I'll have to remember that. Let's just, can we get the victory road as soon as possible? I wish, I would have preferred getting one in the grass because those Pokemon are higher levels. But, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. Actually, um, I don't, uh, the pinwheel clause doesn't like, um, 
doesn't extend to like grass and waters because that would just be like too overpowered the same way like it doesn't work on caves where you can't use it on like different floors of caves so yeah anyways here's victory road this dude's like oh you got the earth badge you beat giovanni you saved the world good for you here's a cave to die in yay so we will just catch our pokemon here really quickly then we'll probably go patch back and hatch our two eggs so it's an onyx a level 46 onyx holy poop um okay what, do, what the heck do i do against you <laughs> um sipper i'm trusting you not to die okay that's good let's seismic toss and we'll just try to dwindle this thing down oh wow actually did onyx apparently don't have a lot of hp which kind of surprises me because looking at them i would think they'd be like a rather like HP heavy Pokemon, but apparently not. So can we catch this thing in a Great Ball? I doubt it. I think we'll have to use Ultra Balls. One, two, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Wow. Wow. Way to prove me wrong. Okay. Thank you. So, yeah. Nice. I'm still holding out on try on catching, on hatching that Abra with the Elemental Punches. I, I still want that thing so freaking badly because it just sounds so amazing. And getting that like right before the Elite Four would be awesome. So let's go hatch our Pokemon. Maybe we'll get something useful. I don't know. For egg, this one let's take. Um, let's try a different box. Let's try box three. Let's try it up here. We'll put Redwood just back in the box here for a second. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to get your hopes up and just like take you away. But here is our Onyx. And for Onyx, let's take. Um take box four for onyx so oh here's a heart stone i don't know what that is but that made me laugh i don't know i don't know why <laughs> i don't i don't know anyways let's go hatch the pokemon so the first one we hatch will be our level 20 slowpoke and the second one we hatch will be our level 46 onyx and if these are freaking duplicate hatches again i'm gonna be so frustrated i would rather have illegal pokemon and duplicate hatches this time because at least it's variety but no all we ever freaking get is Heracrosses and Growlithe, Heracross and Growlithe, and occasional Cyndaquil, Heracross and Growlithe, and it makes me hate the world. Alright, so this is... <gasps> He's a Bulbasaur! I guarantee this is illegal. I guarantee this is an illegal Bulbasaur. Let's see. Yep, okay, that's cool. Well, I said I'd much rather have an illegal Pokemon. Thank you, world, for doing that to me. Let's try again. Actually, yep. Yeah. Let's go... Yeah, box ones. I think it's like box ones, like the only box I could actually trust, cause everything else just has like nothing but horrible illegal eggs, and I just. Ugh. All right, let's try this again. This time it'll be the level 46 Onyx that'll be hatching. So please don't be an illegal Pokemon. Please be something really good. Please be that freaking Abra. My God, I would just, I would do things to myself that you guys cannot believe. I will, I will. I will break your imagination. Let me just put it that way. You won't be able to walk when I'm done with you. Yeah. I'm that hardcore. Why is this thing not hatching? Okay, we'll just we'll just skip forward. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, yep, yeah, never mind. We're not gonna skip forward. Thank you, game, for just ruining that. This is please be good. Oh yay. <sighs> You're gonna be nicknamed bone i don't know i can't think of anything better it's another freaking nidoran is it legal is the question we're peck thunderbolt unfortunately that is legal so yay you know what? I, i'm gonna i'm gonna bend the rules this is gonna be our level 20 pokemon instead so and yeah because that was the first one we caught so it's the first one we hatch and we level up so this next one will be our level 46 pokemon don't tell anybody okay thank you I guess the good thing is if Nidoking dies, then we have a replacement Nidoking, but at the same time, you know, this Nidoking is like our earthquake person, so if he dies, I'm going to be pretty freaking devastated because I don't, although I have Pokemon who could probably learn earthquake naturally, like um, Dawn Fan, and actually I think that's it, but let's pretend there's more, okay? Okay, so this Pokemon will be our level 46 Pokemon, hopefully it's something good like that wonderful Abra I keep hearing of. It's an Inkata! I hate my life so much right now. Yeah, I'm gonna nickname you Bug. So, I I will be evolving this into both a Shed Ninja and a Ninjask, but I I'll just I'll do that off screen. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, how about let's go for 
Last time we asked for 312 likes, I believe we hit it. I actually haven't checked. I assume we have, because last time I looked, we were at 300, and that was like five hours ago. So, how about 334? I think we could do that. For taking on two boss battles and getting O code again, I think it's a good chance. I think it's a good reward. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm Hardy Tech Yo Yo. Peace!